Hey there, my name is Tyler Diedrich and I manage the customer success engineering team at Run Zero. When I think about what the best strategy is for creating a more productive and effective customer success program, I think about structured autonomy. So what that means to me is you've laid out a framework for your team to follow of best practices, things that you know that work, metrics that you're tracking, uh, so that they're not playing a guessing game all the time and then allowing them to have autonomy within that framework. So if they have a specific account, they need to flex on something and do things a little bit differently. They should never have to think twice about that and just providing them that flexibility within the framework that you've built out so that they, they don't ever have to question whether what they're doing is right because they know it's it's within this framework that you've set out and they also don't have to question if they need to switch things up a little bit. So it, it provides them both some structure and then also some freedom to think creatively in their role. Hi everyone, I'm KGP and I work in customer success at a leading marketing technology company called Banzai. My tips for running a productive, effective customer success team is to ensure that every person on that team knows how to speak about the customer in terms of revenue. That is the universal language of SaaS. Uh, for many of us, that means starting by finding two to three data points that are democratized across your organization. Sometimes that is net revenue retention, uh, that could be product adoption if you're a PLG team. It really depends, but my favorite is CAC to LTV, meaning the money that we're, we're spending as a company to acquire a customer, marketing, sales, all that good stuff, all the way through to the lifetime value of the customer. Is that balancing out? What I love about this metric is that it really holds cross teams accountable for the shared success of the customer. Um, and it, it makes everyone then responsible for great profit margins. Uh, that's my tip. I uh, look forward to hearing from the other leaders. Thanks. Hi, I'm Rachel Provan. I am a customer success leadership coach at Provan Success. And I'd say one of the ways that you can get your team to be most productive and effective is to really prioritize what work you want them to do. There's always going to be too much to do in CS and they're gonna to have tons of clients. They're going to have tons of projects to work on. Make sure you're clear with them. These are the priorities. These are the things to focus on, the things that affect NRR. So focus on your largest revenue clients. This may seem like a no brainer, but if you don't give that clear distinction, they may just be trying to do everything and they don't necessarily tell you when they're overloaded. So make sure they know what the priorities are and try not to do 20 things at once. Hey everyone, greetings from the beautiful Northern New Jersey. My name's Chad Hornfeld and I'm a veteran customer success leader who was most recently at Meta as part of the customer with a K division as their head of customer success. In terms of creating a strategy for the most productive and effective customer success teams, I'd have to say it's about creating the right type of culture. Beyond setting a vision for the team, it's about defining the values and behaviors that are expected. It's about building trust within that team so that your team knows that they can rely on its leaders, but more importantly, that they can rely on each other, whatever they need and wherever they are. It's also about being very deliberate. It starts with hiring people from different backgrounds and with different perspectives. It's about forcing new people to get out of their comfort zone and really get to know each other. It includes setting up consistent rituals and meetings where they can learn more about each other and they can share their collective knowledge with each other. Finally, it involves ensuring that all the voices are heard and they're respected. In this way, we become more than just different roles that help the customer. We become a team that helps and supports each other. That's how you create a more productive and effective team. Hi, I'm Miranda Dekonsky. I'm a customer success executive. Um, and I have been asked to share with you all my best strategies for creating a more productive and effective customer success team. Now, I could spend hours on this topic, but I only have a minute. So I'm just gonna share a few things that I tend to lean in on. First and foremost is partnering with your team to set up a clear vision, goals, KPIs, and so forth. Teams that know what's expected of them out of the gate tend to be more productive and effective, but also balance that with a strong why, giving folks a strong sense of purpose. High-performing customer success folks 
don't want to do stuff just this, for the sake of doing it. They want to understand the whys behind what they're doing and know what they're doing is meaningful and impactful. Next, I'm just going to quickly mention to train, invest, and grow your organization. I know I personally feel way more motivated if I feel like I'm learning and growing. This is mission critical to the success of an organization is making sure you're investing in this area. Lastly, I know I'm way out of time, uh, is to make sure that the customer is at the center of everything you do. Cannot reiterate this enough. If you're creating a process, think about how will this impact the customer? If you're putting in a new system, how will this impact the experience that we're able to deliver? So on and so forth. Anyway, thank you for inviting me to do this. Again, I could talk about this for hours, but hopefully the few tips that I've provided are helpful. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening from wherever in the world you're watching this. My name is Jeff Heckler. I'm the Director of Customer Success Solutions at Market Source. I've been asked my friends at Vitaly to answer the following question. What's your best strategy for creating a more productive and effective customer success team? Well, to start, I'd focus on hiring the right talent with curiosity and initiative, set clear goals that align your company and your customers, and implement proactive customer engagement. Segment customers based on their needs and outcomes, foster coll collaboration cross-functionally with sales, marketing, and product, and within your team, and utilize customer data for insights at scale. Conduct regular business re reviews internally and externally, Encourage feedback from everyone on your team and who they touch, and leverage technology for automation. Foster a culture of continuous improvement. Recognize and reward success with high visibility and promote knowledge sharing. Stay updated with industry trends and methodologies. By combining these elements, your customer success team can drive customer satisfaction, retention, and business and revenue growth for both your company and your customers. Thanks to Vitaly for asking me to contribute, and thank you to my company, Market Source. We're a provider of customer success people, process, and technology. Thank you.